So what's going on YouTube? This is uh, the end of the year video for 2020. Um, talk about ups, ups and downs with this year. I'm just gonna go over again um, all the stuff I did and what I managed to accomplish to this car this year. Just wanna give you guys a brief, uh, you know, cool little walk around. So this is a car as it sits now. The teen springs have settled. And along with the white line performance kit or the white line anti-roll kit, it feels great. Took it to the canyons. You know, I've never fought the car like that. Like you can just let go a little more, you know, when you're doing the turns. So I'm just gonna go over, you know, some of the things I've done. Again, you know, just in case any of you guys click on this video and haven't seen it yet. Um, we'll start with the front of the car. We'll start with the lip. You know, it is a an eBay lip, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on something that might break and be crying about it after. Nonetheless, it's polyurethane, it's quality, it's thick, it's pretty bendable, and um, yeah, so far so good, you know, fitment is good, it's tight where it needs to be, it comes with these little grooves already, I did not do that, so it fits really good. Some lips don't have that, but this one did, so I looked out. The intercooler pieces of plastic that uh, cover it here and here, took those off. Uh, there's another one that goes up here, and I think on this side too. I just ended up removing that, just because it looks better. I'm not one to take stuff off the car if unnecessary, but I mean, you can just tell, like it just has a more mechanical look, more aggressive. So I like that. Also put this screen instead of like that plastic piece that it has, which is really ugly in my opinion. You know, like this, it looks a lot better. It all flows together, it makes sense. There's an air, air dam right there. So, Put those two new stickers on there. I'm still rocking the, uh, the dealer quality inspection sticker. You get that when it's brand new. Somebody signs it, but mine's came like that. Um, let's see what else can I tell you guys. The mud flaps. As you guys know, the rally art. They're dope. I really like the mud flaps. You know, they're, they don't sell them here in the United States. You have to get them from somebody in the UK. It's no big deal, but they take a while to get here. Look at that shot. But they really look good on the car. It's kind of unique. So far, I haven't seen anybody else with those mud flaps, which is good. Cause I'm sure they look too similar. And got that cop sticker on there. Got these uh, side markers here. Those are depot. They actually look really good. I've seen the uh, the OEM USDM side markers. 
not too big of a fan. But these are dope. Gotta say the uh, 2015 mirrors look a whole lot better than the 14s and under. It just makes the car look too plain. Like just that little piece and the design of it, it just makes it like night and day difference. It looks a whole lot better. All right, so I think that's it for the outside. interior mods actually I fixed some of this this thing was all scuffed out interior mods um, nothing much really you know I got these these are actually pretty legit You know, there's nothing too exaggerating. Everybody with an evil X feels my pain right here. I don't know why it just starts to do that, even if you get out like all careful. But I will fix that later. Here is the shift knob. With the shift boot. Looks legit. This thing is actually pretty difficult to put on. It's gonna take you a few tries taking it on and off, but it can be done. So not too many things done to the interior. Um, you know, it's pretty basic. I will say that the 15s, they have a different material on there than the Recaros. The Recaro ones actually feel like more Alicantara. This is more like, you know, a cheaper suede still suede nonetheless it's soft but it just feels different you can tell again mine's a 2015 so i had to buy these recarls put them on myself i actually did this recently i patched it up because if you saw my other videos, it's got like a white mark here. I hated seeing that. So just went to, uh, I just want to go buy a piece of cloth. I cut it to like a kind of a decent looking deal and just stitched it myself. Not too bad. Left a little bit of play just so that, you know, when you slide in and out, that's the shift knob. showing you guys a headliner because I had to change the headliner so that's something I also did the interior doesn't look too bad other evos are actually really plain you know the piano black actually looks good with it the stitching on the door too actually did that too got me a leather uh Got me one off a of rally yard. It was a leather e brake. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's the end of the year review there. Interior and exterior. Um, let's see what else I can show you guys. Let me just show you guys this place I'm at. It's really dope. I like the mountains all around. 
motor wise um i did get this j2 which i'm sure you guys are aware of now j2 exhaust kind of have to mess with it to get them to line up so that they look straight had to move them around a little bit motor wise only done a couple of things so took you to kt motoring they installed the boost control for me that's a k&m piece right there i did this last year but yeah for a free few years back they installed the boost gauge here that's a grim speed right there and i kept a stock one just like on the side don't know how you hook that up but it works And I also got a downpipe. Not a downpipe, but a test pipe. Let's see if I can see it. Test pipe all the way back to the exhaust. Another reason why I didn't go lower than an inch is because you can uh, scrape the exhaust because it hangs really low. So I figured an inch and a half at most is, is ideal. So it's um, upper intercooler pipe now, boost control, intake, test pipe, cap back exhaust on a KT motoring tune, 91 tune. Shout out to KT motoring. The tune is really good. So far, so good. No complaints about it. Compression tested it. Really happy with the numbers. 150 all the way across. You know, one cylinder was a little under 150, but from what I heard, 158 is brand new. So, goes to show you that I'm not beating the shit out of the car. I drive it right. I drive it the way it's supposed to be driven. Um, yeah. I will say though, I took it to Turbo Canyon the other day, as I mentioned, and I did two runs up and down, up and down the mountain, and the turbo was glowing red. From what I was told or what I read also, is uh, run a quality synthetic oil because of that. This car has had Mobile One fully synthetic extended performance, also known as the Gold Cap. It's had that all its life. You know, with Hondas, uh, when they rev to 8K, they burn oil. We all know that VTEC burns oil. But with this car, like, it doesn't really burn oil. But um, yeah, if it, if it can. If it can take those 8,000 revs, then I trust it in my Evo. And that's about it. That's pretty much all I did to it. So got me a new, uh, new keychain and lanyard. Using a new key now. Give you guys a couple revs, you know, just for hell's sake.